you know, it's a funny way of enjoying yourself. You know, like it's, it is, it is, I enjoy it probably more than I realize I do. You know, I enjoy practice sometimes and I, you know, I get caught up and I'm surprised. Um, you know, it's a grind. Like you're out there playing in a seat qualifier and we were playing in a game last night. You know, it's after midnight and nothing's going well. My, you know, my wife's at home taking care of two kids. I'm getting behind at work and I'm going, is this a good use of my time? I'm not so sure. But then, you know, you know, it, so it's, it's, when things are going good, it's fun. You know, when things are a struggle, it's tough, you know, and, and we're at that other end of the career where we're not, we're not building towards years and years of playing, right? It's, this is, you know, we got to win now because we don't have a lot of games left in us. But clearly we enjoy it. You know, it's just, it's a job. It is, this is a job and, and it's not, it's not the most glamorous thing 90% of the time, right? So, you know, if you like hotels and you like grinding out, you know, on, in curling clubs all across Canada, best time you can ever have in your life. Yeah. I haven't actually been home for Thanksgiving and I think in about eight, nine years and I'm not as old as the other guys on the team so I can I can only imagine the last time that they had a Thanksgiving dinner. It's our third spiel of the year and we've been playing great and we've played a couple of really good teams and fortunately for us this weekend we uh, put it all together and played really well on the final day and came out champ. Finally won a spiel together as a team. Yeah, we made one change. Uh, Steve Gould uh, was replaced by Mark Nichols, and uh, you know it was, a, it was a long process, and it took Mark a long time to decide to make that big move to Winnipeg, and he finally did, and uh, so far so good. Why Mark? We had different things that we thought of of, of why the team needed to make, make a change, and and I said to the guys, you know, if we're gonna if we're gonna make a change, you know, make a change with a guy like Steve. We need to think about who we would ultimately want to play with, and, and we listed criteria. We made it sort of a scientific kind of, you know, list your top nine things you want from a player, and, and, and then list your top players that meet that, we'll see how things match up. Mark was available. He didn't curl last year. We knew he had, that uh, he might want to get back into the game, so when we talked to him, he said he was interested, and, and it worked out great. And like I said, most of the other teams were established, and we didn't want to try and take another guy away from some other team. The guys gave me a call uh, late last year after the Briar, and asked me if I was interested. When we put him on the list, we had no idea if he'd even consider playing with us, never mind moving to Manitoba and all the stuff that would come with it. But he was, when he just stripped it down and said, who would you, who would you want to curl with? Mark Nichols was a, was right at the top of that list. He's just one of those guys over the years that you, you like, you admire, and, and, and you go, that's a guy I'd play with. You know, I kind of missed the game and wanted to get back into it and thought it was a great opportunity to play on a, a very good team. It's a new position for me, so I'm, I'm still learning, but I think uh, I just try to go out there and play my game and just try to be a part of the team and make shots and uh, try to you know, bring whatever I can. Mark has fit in really well and obviously the results uh, show. Making the playoffs, if you make the playoffs in a bonds field, it's, it's always worth it to go. Uh, we had a good experience. Today you know, we're fortunate enough to win the bonds field. Um, but you know, as long as you qualify each bonds field, you start uh, gathering the points that we're you know, much seeking for our trip to hopefully the Olympic trials. Our whole goal this year is to get our a direct spot into the Olympic curling trials and, and you know, our first opportunity is the Canada Cup and Medicine Hat and I think December 1st or 2nd. So that's our major goal. I mean, we're, we're, that's our goal. Win that event and then we're done. That's the reason why the team was formed and that's why they asked me if I was interested was to make a run at that, the Olympic trials. and. Um, you know, play a lot, play well this year, and get as many points as we can to to try to qualify for for those trials. And you know, once you get there, then it's a, a one in eight chance to go to the Olympics. I don't really understand the qualifying criteria. Um, I mean, I know you got to build points, and but I, I figure if you play lots and you play good events and you play well, you get in. That's something I spend very little time thinking about the specifics of it. I don't do the math. I don't look at the multiplier and. I know everybody else will do that for me, so I don't spend any, I don't waste any energy on that. Uh, celebration, we're definitely going to probably go out for dinner. I think we have some time before we have to head out for uh, the airport. Obviously sit down with the other team, have a couple drinks, uh, tell some stories, 
that's that's the beauty about this game is that you know you play on the ice and after the ice you get to visit for a bit. So uh, looking forward to it.